and welcome to this episode of Blackberry 10 Jam Unplugged. In this series, we will join hands and explore all the different things that are available in the Blackberry 10 SDK, both today and yes, tomorrow. Today we are joined by Marcus Landon, who is one of our product managers for the Cascades UI framework for Blackberry 10. Marcus is from Sweden. And in Sweden, they enjoy the towering Alps, fine cheeses, chocolates, and knives that do multiple different things. Marcus even has a very nice pet turtle. Marcus, maybe we could start off with you telling us a little bit about what Cascades UI framework is. Okay, so the Cascades UI framework is, if, if you wanna develop a native application for BlackBerry 10, then Cascades and the Cascades UI framework is uh, what you should use. And with Cascades UI framework, you get a rich set of UI components. And um, with Cascades, so you also get this kind of built-in interaction, Blackbird 10 interaction paradigm uh, with support for peak gestures and the navigation and navigation transitions and, and so on. Very good, very good. Now, I do hear that um, you know, this brings in that peak and flow that we hear much of, but sometimes I like to create some custom lacy cravats. They're very beautiful. And I wonder whether or not there's things that you could do today in Cascades that could be custom or things that might be coming to give it a little bit of flair. It's quite easy to create custom functionality and custom UI controls with Cascades today already. You have, uh, you can use the concept called QML components uh, and you can um, use the C++ APIs to create custom uh, UI controls as well. Uh, in the near future, in the upcoming releases, we are adding more customization possibilities. On the font side, for example, we where we are introducing the possibility to use custom fonts. So not only use the, the one single built-in BlackBerry font, but pretty much up to you to choose which font uh, you want to use. And then we also introduce the concept of col colorization. Uh, today we have a number of different themes uh, colored in different ways, but it's still just a limited set of colors. So we're introducing colorization you should be able to choose exactly which kind of color you want to use for you, your application and throughout the UI uh, of your application. Very good. Now, I know we've been talking about mobile computing and different screen sizes and whether it be automotive or phones or tablets. What are some of the things that we're thinking about inside uh, the Cascades UI framework to take advantage of this wonderful different world? Okay, so, so when preparing for mobile computing and going for a new big and possibly unknown set of form factors and screen sizes, we obviously need to add more functionality. And one important concept is um, resolution or density independent pixels, which, so instead of using pixel measurements, you will to use something that is more related to the actual physical size of, of, of the screen. Um, we will add more layout related functionality. So in addition to the stack layouts and the list layouts we have today, we will in introduce grid layouts and re relative layouts and, and so on. We will also continue and, and expand this uh, asset selector feature we have today, which allow you to reuse most of your implementation across form factors, but then choose specific UI screens and have unique implementations for those particular screens. That's very, very interesting answer with lots of different screens. And it, and it, it leads me to the question on, would you consider wearing a lacy cravat? I actually have a pretty large amount of um, lacy cravats in, in my wardrobe and I usually try to wear those on, on, on weekends. I don't use them for work, but at home, at home I enjoy wearing them. 
Ah, very good. I do think weekend wear of lacy cravats is quite appropriate. Thank you very much, Marcus, for joining us all the way here in studio today to tell us a little bit more about Cascade's UI framework and what will be coming. And thank you, everyone, for joining us on this episode of BlackBerry 10 Jam Unplugged. I do hope you join us next time for more information on what BlackBerry 10 SDKs can bring. And remember, my Uncle Olaf always says, Flossing between meals will help prevent gingivitis. Good night. Thank you.